over the plane. My name is Deborah Brown. I'm a physical therapist and I manage the outpatient rehab program at Emory Rehabilitation Hospital. I received my physical therapy degree from the Medical College of Georgia and just recently have completed my Doctor of Physical Therapy. The patients that typically come to this clinic all have neurologic disorders or diseases. We see patients with Parkinson's, post-stroke, post-brain injury, post-concussion, uh, movement disorders, multiple sclerosis, uh, ALS, and provide services for those patients. Hi, my name is Melinda White and I live in Rex, Georgia. I am here at the clinic because I've had 15 strokes and I need to be rehabilitated with my legs strengthening and with occupational therapy with my arms and my hands with picking up things and being able to manage in life. What I've done with Melinda with this machine is sometimes we'll not use the arms so she's just working the legs and then as we're doing right now she'll put her arms in so she's working both arms and legs in a symmetrical fashion. Um, the other thing that we've uh, done with Melinda is we take a look at the RPMs that she's doing. The faster the RPMs, meaning there's, she's doing more power versus a slower RPM. Since I started coming here, my legs have definitely gotten stronger. I'm able to walk up steps better. I'm able to walk without wobbling. I'm walking straighter, my balance. Um, occupational therapy has really done a lot for me because I wasn't using my left hand or my left arm. Now I'm definitely using my left hand and arm to carry and pick up things. My name is Amy Morse. I am a physical therapist. I moved to Atlanta about four years ago and started working for Emory. My specialty here at Emory Healthcare is uh, treating people with movement disorders. So patients who have Parkinson's disease, atypical Parkinson's disease, and Huntington's disease. My name is Ken McDonald. I've had Parkinson's for four years. I was diagnosed four years ago. I think that I've had it for several years before that, but they're not, you don't really know for sure. Mr. McDonald is 64 years old. He has had Parkinson's for three years now. He came to me with a lot of difficulty with his walking, with his posture. He was very uh, forward in his walking and posture, which was leading uh, him to fall a lot. Good. Long, quiet steps. Look to the right. Back to the center. Good correction. So we really worked on his body awareness and his posture and where uh, is he standing up straight? Does he feel his weight shifted back on his heels? And then from there, we progress to working on walking and balance. And he is very highly motivated. He does, he exercises religiously at home and he really takes in all of the education that I've given him and, and puts it to use. Um, we notice his stiffness started to decrease, his posture started to improve. He was able to walk normally when he was thinking about it and his falls were decreasing. If I learned anything from it, Amy, it's power up, it's to be straight. The last thing in the world you want to do is look like somebody that has Parkinson's. My name is Dora Brown Branch. I'm a flight attendant. I also have a reupholstery business. I have suffered an autoimmune disease called rhabdomyolysis, which is a weakening of the muscles. As a result of the total muscle weakness from head to toe, I actually had to learn how to walk again, eat again, to be able to, to be able to take care of myself again. As I progressed with the help of the techs here at Emory, I'm now able to walk on my own. I've come from laying on my back for three months to going to a wheelchair, from a wheelchair to a walker, from a walker to a cane, and now I'm walking on my own and we're working on strengthening my muscles, which has been extremely progressive with the help of the techs here.